playability, well, if you are standing up, and as I said, there's not much op options here. Uh, it feels, I mean, it's really easy to get around. It's no coincidence that is this model is a popular guitar among solo guitarists. Um, and the since it's very rather thin, I, th I thought maple was heavier than mahogany, and obviously it isn't. It's very, it's a very light guitar. It's very, very light. Um, so yeah, and the neck is yeah very playable, rather slim, and that is satin finish and flat radius. Yeah. As a whole, it's very easy to get around. So playability, it gets an eight. Well, electronics, uh, as I said, my only complaint basically is that they market this as a Sima Duncan pickup. Uh, other than that, the electronics are, I have nothing to say about them. <laughs> but it's so simple, so how could you go wrong? Uh, they have a very, decent volume control i should say it's a, it's a, it's high quality stuff as is the output jack so nothing more to say there electronics are nine <laughs> okay let's try it out now and uh well of course i will try it even in clean mode and such even though it, well it really deserves high gain so but here's the clean sound <laughs> touch of overdrive and this pickup is high output so it will drive it hard <laughs> Okay, and finally, what it's made for, I think, <laughs> high gain. <laughs> That's the sound of it, uh, and as you can as you can tell, it's very bright. And um, well, most theories are that it comes from the maple body, and well, that's probably true. Maple is a, a wood that will make your guitar sound bright, and uh, maybe they should should use another pickup. Uh, it's really high output. It's a new record, I think, for my reviews. It's the most high output uh, pickup we have. 
And um, I guess it all comes down to what kind of style you're playing. If you're playing like very noisy metal, then maybe this will s actually suit you. And this rather bright and very high output sound. Uh, it uh, benefits here in the high gain sounds uh, from the maple fretboard actually. And it's much easier to get the squeals and yeah all those kind of harmonics out of it with a maple fingerboard it's much harder so sounds it gets a seven and i'm not complaining about that it has one pickup um i don't know why do you need more um it's better to do have one and do it good so I don't think that's a design fault and if you're gonna cut something they'll take out a pickup and spend money on something else so all in all a 7.4 okay this has been my first review of an American made guitar and uh, well quality wise they are making America seem bad. And I'm not sure that's the purpose of uh, what Gibson are doing. I mean, it's nice that you can get an affordable guitar that's actually made in the US and that actually is, says Gibson on the headstock. Uh, but maybe they cut a little too many cor corners here. Um, I forgot to mention actually, I should say, say that now, the body is smaller as well, so again, it's a very light guitar, a very high output uh, pickup, if you're a metalhead, well, you're good to go, if you play something else, yeah, it really doesn't suit anything else I suppose. Well, I don't know. That's my opinion. And I'm the Swedish guitar nerd and I reviewed this one, the Gibson Melody Maker Flying Wii. See you very soon. Bye.